Grace and peace to all of you huddling, hunkering down at home. It's a difficult time for all of us, challenging period spiritually. We hold services here in this church on Sundays, but there's only three or four of us here. Uh, nobody in the pews. People are accessing services online and they're telling us how important and how comforting it is to have a familiar liturgy and a familiar building. But what about those times when we're alone and we've got a lot more time than we usually have these days? I find I can only watch so much Netflix or read so many books or leaf through so many magazines or chat by Zoom or Facebook to people. Sometimes I just need solitude. I need to be alone and try and process what's going on as best I can in this strange, weird time. I think it's normal for Christians to turn to scripture. Uh, the Bible's a big book. Uh, there's lots there to feed us. But I think particularly Christians through the ages have turned to the Psalter, the 150 Psalms of the Bible. And particularly at this time, I find myself turning to the Psalms of lament because we have lots to lament these days. Not just lament our inconvenience of being confined and locked down, isolated from our friends, our community, but particularly this week, we have much to lament, along with the people of Canada, particularly the people of Nova Scotia, in the very shocking and tragic and horrifying murders of 22 innocent people. What are Christians to think? What are any of us to think in the face of such evil? Well, scripture has a way of voicing our feelings. We don't just read the Bible, the Bible reads us and in a sense speaks in us and through us and for us. So I've been looking at the Psalms of Lament and maybe you might take out your Bibles and look at those as well. Look at Psalm 44 or Psalm 60 or Psalm 74, Psalm 80, Psalm 85, Psalm 90. These Psalms of Lament, I find, pray for me, speak for me voice my own feelings of horror and sadness, confusion in the face of senseless chaos. It will help us stay spiritually rooted, I think, and that's what we need at this time. We don't have all the answers, but we can meditate with Christians through the ages using the words of the Psalms to help us. May God's peace be with you in this time of turmoil, challenge, and lament.